Hello everybody. We run the All Stars Club, uh, the After School Club at Sherlington Primary School. And as we can't be with you at the moment, we thought it would be a good idea to make a video so that you can have an All Stars session online. We hope you are all well. We've been thinking about you and your families a lot and saying prayers for you. So we do hope you are well and some of you are able to get back to school for some of the time. We know that you're thinking about courage at the moment. So we thought we would have a Bible story about a man who showed an awful lot of courage. His name was Daniel and this is his story. God was very sad. Most of his people had stopped listening to him and talking to him and following his rules. If you do not change your ways, he warned them, you will have to leave this special country I gave you long ago. But the people would not listen. So God let their enemies defeat them and destroy their cities and carry them hundreds of miles away to be slaves in another land. There were, however, a few of God's people who did not forget him. One of those was Daniel. He worked hard in the new land, so hard that he became one of the king's own special helpers. But he never forgot about God or failed to pray to him morning, noon and night. Some of the king's men were jealous of Daniel. They wanted his job for themselves. So they talked the king into making a new law, a law which said no one but no one is allowed to pray to anyone but the king himself. We've got Daniel now, his enemies laughed. And so they had. For the very next morning, Daniel knelt by his window bowed his head and prayed, not to the king, but to God. Thank you, God, for taking care of us in this faraway land, he prayed. Forgive us and please take us back to our own land soon. Daniel's enemies were watching. And before he could even open his eyes, they grabbed him and dragged him in front of the king. The king was sad, very sad. He liked Daniel, but he could not break his own law. Daniel must be punished, he sighed. Throw him into the lion pit, because that's what they did with people who went wrong. But even as the king gave the order, he whispered a prayer that no one could hear. A prayer to Daniel's God that somehow Daniel might be saved. The lion pit was dark. The pit was deep. The lions covered its floor like a shaggy growling carpet. They leapt to their feet in a second when Daniel landed among them. They licked their lips. They showed their teeth. They opened their mouths and moved towards their dinner. And then they stopped. Shoo! Scat! Go away! shouted a voice right behind Daniel. The lion's mouths snapped shut. Their tails drooped and they whimpered away to the corners of the cave. Slowly, Daniel turned round and looked up into the face of an enormous angel. Here's the picture of some really very quiet lions and the angel looking down upon them, and Daniel looking pretty amazed. Nothing to worry about now, the angel smiled. God sent me to watch over you. Why don't you get some sleep? The next morning, the king cheered when he discovered that Daniel was still alive. Pull Daniel out, he ordered his men, and while you're at it, Take the men that taught me into that silly law and dump them in the pit instead. 
The king put his arm round Daniel and walked him back to the palace. Meanwhile, Daniel's enemies cried for help and the lions enjoyed their breakfast. So, Daniel showed lots of courage, didn't he? Even though he knew he was in danger. He continued to do what he knew was right and pray to God. He trusted that God would protect him. Let's pray now. You can say Amen at the end if you'd like to. Father God, thank you for Daniel and for the courage that you gave him. Help us to pray. Help us to know what is right and give us the courage to do it. Amen. Now we're going to show you a craft activity, which we hope you'll be able to follow and try yourselves. So over to Catherine. Bye bye. enjoyed our video of making our lions yes. so should we show our finished results one two three Rawr. so yours does look a bit more fierce when you've got your face through it doesn't it mine's quite a happy lion <laughs> so thank you Sue for the story and we hope you've got some inspiration for some lion crafts we'd love to see anything that you've done you can send them to the school and we could, we'll, could be able to see it then I'm sure but we do miss you don't we yeah yeah so, as we normally do in All Stars, I'm going to sing, and you can join along too. And it's called, Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Well, we hope you've enjoyed having our video today and we look forward to hopefully seeing you soon. Bye for now.